And now it's time for today's Musk Minute. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is not happy with Elon Musk and Tesla. The electric car maker had been claiming that the Model 3 sedan was awarded, quote, the lowest probability of injury of all cars the safety agency has ever tested. Ugh. The NHTSA said that's not true and issued a cease and desist letter a few months ago before escalating the issue to the FTC. Joining us now to break it down is Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Mm. Dan, was That's Tesla misrepresenting safety claims here? Yeah, they were. <laughs> so I'll see you later. No, um, <laughs> they, uh, uh, basically what happens is the, the NHTSA has these rankings, right? And so Tesla got the, the lowest uh, uh, ranking, the, the best ranking, basically. Okay, the yeah. lowest, you know, crash uh, problems ranking. So uh, then they went ahead and said, well, this is the safest car they've ever tested. They also previously said that it got uh, 5.4 stars out of a rating of five. <laughs> so the NHTSA had said, well, we don't have a rating of 5.4 stars, so <laughs> you can't just, say that. That's like right, the 100 right. plus on a yeah, test yeah, right. exactly, yeah. <laughs> in seventh grade. We got the, uh, the, uh, like the average, right. yeah. So they, they, uh, they did that. Uh, they did this, uh, this other issue. This came out uh, via a uh, information request uh, that was put out uh, last October. So this is a, an older issue, but it's coming to light now. The NHTSA seems to have been going back and forth with Tesla about this, basically saying, you know, uh, stop. <laughs> and uh, don't say things like this because it's not fair to other companies, nor is it fair to consumers because it could lead them to think that their car is beyond safe and like they're driving around in a bubble. But right. in reality, it's still a vehicle and it's still, yes, it, it met their test scores, but don't misrepresent their test scores. Don't say, right. I got 100 on the test, but you know. And you got like an 85. Yeah, exactly. But, but, it's, but also, um, it's also arguably... Uh, an unfair competitive practice. Exactly. Because if someone is considering buying a new electric vehicle and they're looking at the Leaf, they're looking at whatever other EV I can't think of, and then Tesla, well, then they see that safety report and it yeah. gives a leg up to Tesla. It's, it's sort of equivalent to false advertising. It wasn't in an ad, but... And so the FTC is actually looking into them uh, because of see? that. But isn't the reality there have been some crashes? There have, that yeah. That Tesla has actually been reluctant to share that data yeah. with the U.S. agencies. So Although I also think Tesla gets a little bit overly dinged yeah, for well, things like that happen to all kinds of... Right. You know, it's like uh, when tech companies, I, I also think, are kind of held to a higher standard and they don't have enough gender diversity, but all companies don't still. But, you know? but, but there's a superstar CEO, so yeah. that definitely brings a lot of highlight. And I think the, the issue with Tesla is that they have autopilot. And they, you know, the advertising of autopilot, regardless of what Elon Musk wants to say, is flat out wrong. Because they make it seem like the vehicle, and yes, they have fine print that uh, says that this isn't true, but it makes it seem like the vehicle can drive itself, but it can't. You're supposed to keep your hands on the wheel. And so that's where a lot of these... Sleep. Yes, right. exactly. So we've seen videos where people fall asleep at the wheel and have the, the Tesla driving itself, and that's where some accidents happen, and then Tesla gets hit for it in the press, rightfully so. So I, I think, you know, as far as regular accidents go that other car companies suffer from, yes, totally, you know, can be blown out of proportion because it's a Tesla. You know, if it catches fire, well, you know what, a lot of cars catch fire, yeah. uh, unfortunately, uh, out of nowhere. Uh, but as far as the, the autopilot crashes go, I'm all for scrutinize the hell out of them because they're the ones yep. that are kind of making it seem like it's not, it's an assistive technology. It is not a self-driving technology. The only way this story would have been more musky and Tesla-like is if Elon Musk had tweeted boasting about the safety rating. Mm. All and right, then well, a quick note, since that 420 tweet um, a while ago, the stock is down about 40% since mm. then, so his tweets don't necessarily it bode had, well for the company. Back, it right. bounced back right. somewhat uh, maybe in the last yeah. couple months. But. Well, as Elon Musk is dealing with those Tesla issues, his other big venture, SpaceX, is making nice with one of its biggest rivals, Boeing. Last night in Florida, SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 rocket, and it was carrying a $161 million satellite built by Boeing. Huh. The company's CEOs have thrown a little bit of shade toward one another in the renewed space race back in 2018, Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg said he would beat SpaceX to Mars. Now, could they be making the voyage together? Voyage. That would be pretty <laughs> rad. I think, uh, you know, it would be uh, rad. I don't know if people are see, see Boeing as like the leader in the space race. But. Yeah. But Boeing's got its own set of issues. I mean, <laughs> get the planes right, then go to Mars. I think it's really SpaceX and, and Blue Origin, but right now it's really, you know, like, well, 
and NASA. Don't forget, you know, they're kind of in there, right? Yeah. They're NASA. You know. Yeah. Now, now, as I've heard it, though, because uh, we had a, a, re a space guest on one of the other live shows, and I said that, you know, it's like Musk versus Bezos, and that person was saying, well, Bezos is really much more interested in the moon, while Musk mm -hmm. is all about Mars. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to get us to Mars, uh, and then Total Recall or whatever. Uh, I think that was Total Recall. Uh, <laughs> but he, he wants to get us to Mars and then uh, kind of help uh, uh, colonize the the solar system. That's something that that Bezos has also talked about. These are all you know grand dreams that aren't going to happen in our lifetimes, but it will be interesting maybe. to see. Hey, maybe you know, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll just all live forever. Not colonizing well, well, Mars, but going yeah. to Mars and doing more than we've done. Well, the reality is learning we're, things about Mars. Well, in reality, we're still trying to get back to the moon. Yeah, get to the but, moon. We did that, <laughs> but, we did that in the '60s. Let's yeah, exactly. Say, like, we're, we're trying to get, get that done. Unless we but, didn't. Just yeah. Kidding. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's like a conspiracy we'll theory. <laughs> well, well, Dan, keep us posted on what's going on with Elon Musk. Absolutely. Yeah,